you know, um, and this is not comparison of, hey, look, I'm like them. But when I think about um, the sleeping prophet, uh, uh, what was his name? Oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. The guy who would fall asleep and tell you how to heal your body. <laughs> Edgar Casey. Edgar Casey, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I often think about him because he went out and lay in the woods and he lay in the moss and he called out to God and said, show me how I can be of service. And his life was changed. He was energetically changed. And whether you believe his story or not, he is one story of hundreds, thousands of stories of us falling into open communication with source. Now, we don't know how we exactly got here, but I do know all of us can get here. When they pulse our grid with a thought, those of us who can hear, again, you can hear if you know how to either turn on the dial or plug in the cord or whatever's gonna work for you, you can hear. But lots of people are just feeling what's happening. Now you can do that too. We're back to my plug is in the, in the, where you're going with your plug and my plug is already in the receptacle. So how do you get the first part of that plug happening? You have to say, yes, this is real. <laughs> That's it. So the question posed is, do you think you're more than the flesh and bones and blood of the body right in front of you. Are you more than that suit? Now, if that suit, word suit makes you uncomfortable, are you more than that human body, right? I call it the vessel. Some people call it the, the meat suit, <laughs> you know? Uh, but in truth, it's your vehicle. And now I'm talking to the being part of you because it's your vehicle, and, and if you could connect with it, then the ride is so much more fun. So, you know, I say I'm a star being awake in my suit. And ultimately, I don't know what's coming. You know, I can tell you all the stories I have, I can give you every piece of information I have, and you can discern what it means. But ultimately, I can't tell you what's coming, except the fact that if you acknowledge you are um, a, a being in a suit. If you can come to that, so you can call it the soul, you can pra, prana, chi, you know, tons and tons of words all over the world that mean the soul being of the human, a human being, human being. So the minute you can say yes to that, when you look in your own eyes and say, I know you're in there, let's, let's start communicating, is the plug is now it's illuminated. It's right there. You're like, hey, I see where to plug this in. But the first thing you have to do is tell your soul, soul being, your the beingness of you, that you believe in it and that you know it's there. And that, yes, it's time to change the experience. Now, do you believe the energy body is eternal? So when you and I die, the energy body is released and it goes to another experience. Now, you can get into another 100 debates about where it goes. And I can tell you stories that are awesome because they're stories. But if you're going to start, if you're going to start breaking all these things down into, oh, I gotta know, I gotta know, I gotta know. I'm doing this 17 years, <laughs> and guess what? <laughs> it it doesn't work that way. It comes in an ebb and flow that you're more connected, and you're like, oh my god, I'm alive. Oh, wait now wait now, and you start to recognize you can manifest, and you start to use the tricks of Esther Hicks and, and Lynn Grabhorn and all these beautiful books you've brought. It's time to put these tools into action. So you have a feeling that you can manifest. It's a great time to get at it. Open your cord. Call out to the universe and say, listen, my cord's feeling tight, and I want to manifest. Swell that sucker up. Like, come on, I want a tube, right? And, and just, it's, it's in the doing you create the reality. One small statement to the universe. Open my, open my communication tool. Now, we also have some sort of communication tool that comes right out of the top of our head. 
and one that shoots down into the earth. And, and these are not, these are not the ones that tether you to the source. These are different. But they're equally as important. So I know this, I know this thing is a prana tube from my different investigations. And um, again, this one can be opened, right? So you can open this one here in your belly, but you can also open this one at the top of your head. And, and, and you're seated groundedness and you can open it and open it and open it. And uh, that's what you want to do. So when you sit down to meditate or connect or even to sit and mention things that you uh, are grateful for, you know, opening all these things are going to do this to your plug-in, right? And you may only be plugged in for 30 seconds and you'll feel a kind of a sense of a disconnect. But there's a reason we can't live in there because we live here. And this has been the hardest thing for me because all I want to be is there. 